These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. We appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. is a driving force for the bull shark. The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow. Right, dead shark. shark situation. Let's move. Shark versus dolphin. Orca versus giant squid. Boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize.
scourge of the swampland, Bayou Willie. Shark's reckless behavior only further incenses Port Clovis's citizens. It takes three hours of training and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. No very few bother with this one. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance.
The dinner bell has been rung, but will our bull shark come and get it? I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. Shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
are a high-risk food for Ciguatera poison, but only a few months out of the year. Now, what months those are is anybody's guess. Because of the smaller incidence rate of boat attacks, boat owners tend to believe they have a sort of immunity from shark attacks. But they'd be wrong. Dead. apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. This cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations. Viewers may find this appalling, but it's just nature doing its work. became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. Got a regular there, Flamingo Joes. Max hates it. Tourist train. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on there. Do not serve. <laughs>
Reds. This is anti-climatic. Anybody got a good set of needle nose pliers? Probably right under me. Suffocating out. Another shark hunt draws to a close. It's essential that the shark returns to the water. Barracuda's shape could be described as totally tubular. That is, that's terrible. Whoever wrote this should be embarrassed. Most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips. In real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands.
around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. Make that her! Attention spans are short. Gotten about the shark and her many crimes, so yes, ends the bounty. The shark needs to prioritize. The spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty food. Incidentness about the sea likely began with the first coastal dwelling humans, who were undoubtedly surprised when a shark came on shore to shark hunting was prohibited by royal decree in ancient Fiji. But this is decided not ancient Fiji, there's way more liquor stores. Everyday lenders. Blake, hunters. Got an angry bull out there. Hunters? 